Hello everyone and welcome to the classroom. Today's letter of the day is the letter Z. Do you have a Z in your name? If your name has letter Z, stand up. If your name has letter Z, stand up. If your name has letter Z, if your name has letter Z, if your name has letter Z, stand up. Well, today's Z is for zigzag lightning and weather. I put some zigzags on my letter Z. I just used my yellow marker, but you could use a crayon too. And I just made zigzags, zigzags, zigzags all the way down. This is the letter Z. And now that we can recognize it, we'll practice writing it. To write a letter Z, first you're going to make a line that goes straight across, and then you're going to slide down. That looks like number seven. And then you're going to make a line that goes back the other way. Let's practice writing our uppercase letter Z's. Make a straight line. Slide down, make a straight line back. Straight, slide, back. Straight, slide, back. Straight, slide, and back. That's uppercase letter Z. Well, all the letters have two, an uppercase and a lowercase. Lowercase Z looks just like uppercase Z. It's just smaller, and if you're using handwriting paper, it's downstairs. Straight line, slide down and back. Downstairs, so find the stairs, and that's where little Z belongs. Straight, slide, back. Straight, slide, back. Make a straight line in the middle, slide to the bottom, make a straight line back the other way. Well, I know you are doing a great job practicing those Z's. So here is your sticker. That's for your handwriting paper. Well, now we know what letter Z looks like. We know how to write it. So next we'll talk about the sound that it makes. Letter Z makes the sound like a bumblebee. Zzz. Can you do that? Letter Z says Z. This is the hand motion for letter Z. All the letters have a hand motion. Letter Z's hand motion is like this. Z. Well, let's sing a little song to help us remember that sound and make it stick. What does letter Z say? Z. I caught a baby bumblebee. Did you catch one too? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. What does he say? Z, 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 z. Ouch! He stung me! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> I'm going to let him go this time. What does letter Z say? I got one. Did you get one too? I'm letting go a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm letting go a baby bumblebee. What does he say? There he goes. Bye, baby bumblebee. Well, what does he say? Zzz, like a bumblebee. Zzz. And we're going to use that sound along with the vowels to blend, read, and match. Let's sing the vowel song. Will you help me? A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. High five to all the vowel singers out there. 
Very good. Well, we're gonna put letter Z with vowel A. We're gonna blend those sounds together and then we're gonna put an ending sound. Z, ah, z, ah, z, ah, p, z, ah, p, z, ah, p, z, ah, p. Let's draw a line to the lightning. Zap. This next one has a big letter Z. Must be somebody's name because the first letter in all our names is a big letter. Let's read his name. Z E. Z. E. Z. E. Z. E. B. Zeb. 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 Let's draw a line to this man. His name is Zeb. Now, Z I. Z. E. Z. E. Z. E. Z. E. Zip, 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 like a zipper. Draw a line over to the zipper. Now I need to tell you something about this next one. There are two O's. O and O together looks like a pair of binoculars. And O, O makes the sound like I make when I look through binoculars and see something cool. Ooh. O O says ooh. Now let's read. Z ooh. Z ooh. Z ooh. Zoo. Let's draw a line to the zoo. The last one doesn't have a picture, but we can still blend these letters. Z says z and U says uh. Oh. Z uh, z, z. Well, you did a great job today with our letter time. And now it's time for math. And for math today, we're going to roll the dice and we're going to add five. We're going to color the cloud with that number. So let me roll. All right, here's the number that I rolled. What number is that? One, that's one dot, so that's number one. Remember, we're gonna add five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one plus five is six. So let's find and color the cloud with number six. Six looks like this. I found one. Let's find all the number sixes. There's one. Let's find and color. Number six. Oh, I see some more at the bottom. Here's one. And here's one. Okay, let's roll. This time I rolled this number. What is that number? Three. Remember, we're going to add five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five equals eight. Eight looks like this. Let's look and find all the number eights and color them. Here's one. Oh, I see another. I see another number eight at the top. Find all the number eights. There's one over here on the side. And here's one at the bottom. Okay, let's roll. This time we rolled this number. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Now remember, we're going to add five more. So five and count on six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five plus five more equals ten. 10 looks like this, one, zero. So let's find all our number 10s and let's color those. Here's one at the top. And oh, here's one on the side, number 10. And here's the one on the other side. 
Okay, so let's roll. This time we rolled this number. Two, one, two. So let's add five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two plus five is seven. Seven looks like this. It almost looks like letter Z. I found one. Let's find all the number sevens. Oh, here's one over here. I see some more at the bottom. Here's one. And here's one. We found all the number seven. So now let's roll again. This time we found, we rolled this number. What number is that? One, two, three, four. Remember, we're going to add five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This time we're going to look for number nine. Let's find and color all our number nines. Here's one. And here's one. They're all in the middle. And here's one. We found and colored our number nines and we need to roll again. Right, this time, oh, we had a big number. What number is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember, we're going to add five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six plus five more is eleven. Eleven looks like a one and a one. So let's color all our elevens. Here's one, and here's one, and here's one. Look, we covered all the clouds. We did the roller cloud activity for math. And now it's time for science. And for science today, we're heading over to the science table to make a cloud in a jar. So here we are at the science table and I have a glass of water. And I'm going to make a cloud at the top by using shaving cream. Let me shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. I'm going to squirt it at the top. Looks like a white puffy cloud at the top. Now, I want to talk today about the water cycle. But let me take some blue paint, uh, not paint, but uh, water, blue water, and I'm going to just drop it down, down, down through the cloud. While that's working, while that water is starting to come down, I want to talk about the water cycle. So we know that there's water on the earth. We can see it in puddles and streams and ponds and rivers and lakes, oceans and seas. Well, that water on the earth gets heated up by the sun. When the sun heats the water, it turns from its liquid form into its gas form. It flows up, up, up into the sky. Well, up, into the, up in the sky, that gas form of water cools down and turns back into its liquid form. Little water droplets up in the sky began to clump together. And when they're heavy enough, they can fall back down, down, down to the earth as rain. And you guessed it, the rain gets into puddles and lakes and streams and oceans and seas, heats up by the sun, goes back up into the sky, cools down, makes water droplets, they clump together and fall back down again to the ground as rain. And that continues again and again and again. You can see some rain coming down from our rain cloud right now. Here it comes. Look at all the water drops coming down, down, down. Well, it is time for us to make a zigzag painting today for art. So let's head to the art table. Today for art, we're going to make a zigzag painting. We're going to take some tape and it doesn't matter what kind of tape. And we're going to get me a rag or a towel. We're going to take a little piece of tape and put it 
on the rag or towel and lift it up, up and down. We're trying to pick up some of the lint from the towel because we want to be able to pull our tape up later. Let me show you what I mean. So this is our zigzag painting that we're gonna make. I'm going to put some tape down here in a zigzag pattern. I'm going to paint our color on top and then I'm going to peel off the tape and that's gonna leave that white zigzag. Now, if the paint, excuse me, if the tape is too sticky, it's not going to peel back off very easily. So that's why we're putting it on a towel or on a rag and we're picking up some of the lint so it takes some of the stickiness away from our tape. We're just going to go this way, that way, this way, that way in a zigzag pattern. Let's get another piece. Let's put it on our rag or towel. Let's pick it up and down, up and down, and then let's put it on our paper. We're gonna keep doing that until we get all the way across the paper. Forget to put it on the towel or, or the rag because we definitely don't want this to stick and not come off later after we paint. All right, I think I need one more. All right, so I'm ready to paint. So I'm just going to take some paint and I'm going to go right on top of the tape. Don't even worry about the tape, just paint on top of it. If you don't have paint, this works with the crayon too. You can just color on top of the tape like this. It works just fine. Go right on top. I think I'll pick different color this time. Maybe yellow. You can use all the same color. You can change and use different colors or you may have, you may not have the exact same colors like me and that's okay. Use whatever colors you would like or whatever colors you have. When you finish painting or coloring your picture, you're gonna very carefully start to remove the tape, slowly and carefully. And if it wasn't too sticky, then it should peel right up. So there you have it. We made a zigzag painting for art today. Well, here's my zigzag painting. I hope you get to make one today too. Well, now it is story time and the name of our book today is Franklin and the Thunderstorm. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could name all the months of the year and all the seasons. He could read the thermometer and he knew a lot about the weather, but he was afraid of storms. One day, Franklin was supposed to go play at Fox's house, but the sky was getting dark and the clouds were thick. Maybe I shouldn't go, Franklin said to his mother. She looked out the window. It probably won't rain until later, Franklin. You have time to get to Fox's house. Franklin took up, put on his boots and took the umbrella. As Franklin hurried to Fox's house, he kept looking at the sky. The clouds moved quickly and the wind swirled dirt in the air. Franklin felt all jumpy inside. Fox was playing outside when Franklin arrived. Franklin pointed nervously to the sky. I think we should go inside, don't you? He asked. Not yet, Fox grinned. I love watching the clouds move and feeling the wind blow. It's exciting. I think it's scary, said Franklin. Beaver, Snail, and Hawk came over to play too. My fur feels funny when it's about to storm, said Fox. My feathers get all ruffled, said Hawk. Beaver sniffed. I can smell a storm coming. The wind became stronger. Hawk flew loop-the-loops. Whee, he cried. Franklin held on to his hat and shivered. 
It was almost as dark as night when big fat raindrops began to fall. We should go in, shouted Franklin. No, said Fox, follow me. They raced to the tree house where it was dry. Fox, called his mother. Time for everyone to come in. It's all right, Fox shouted back. We're in the tree. Fox's mother was there in a second. No, it's dangerous to be up in a tree during a storm. Let's go into the house. Franklin held on to Fox's mother all the way to the house. They were barely in the door when there was a flash of zigzag light. Lightning, shrieked Franklin. He trembled. Kaboom, thunder, he screamed. It's okay, Franklin, said his friends. We're safe in here. But Franklin had crawled deep inside his shell. His mother brought treat. A fox's mother brought treats. Still, Franklin wouldn't come out. Franklin's friends begged him to play, but Franklin stayed put. Then, with a flash and a crash, the lights went out. Don't worry, said Fox's mother. She lit candles and turned on a flashlight. Won't you come out now, she asked Franklin. No, thank you, he mumbled inside the shell. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. All that noise is just cloud giants playing drums in the sky. Franklin peeked out. No, it's not, giggled Snail. That noise is made when the giants go bowling. Franklin came out of his shell. But what about the lightning? That's easy, said Hawk. The cloud giants are turning their lights on and off. Fox smiled. I think it's the giants swinging from their chandeliers. Franklin laughed. Giants? That's ridiculous, said Beaver. Mr. Owl, our teacher, says lightning is a big spark of electricity that travels from the sky to the ground. The spark is so hot that it makes the air around it pop. That's the sound of thunder. Amazing, said Franklin. Franklin felt a little better. He even played flashlight tag with his friends. Soon, there was hardly any lightning. The thunder was a low rumble from far away, and the rain stopped. Then the lights went on. Storm's over, said Fox. Let's go outside and play. Look, said Franklin, a rainbow. I know why the storm is over, Franklin said. Those giants heard there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow, and they've gone to find it. Everyone laughed. Even Beaver had to smile. The end. Well, I hope you've had fun with Z is for Zigzag. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.